Israel is seeing a strong and divided reaction to the release of a woman who refused to serve in the army as she protested against the government's policy of occupation. While having a huge group of supporters, Tahir Kamenow was branded a traitor by many Israelis. Arti's Paula Sleer reports. Tears of joy and relief, and also exhaustion. After days in an Israeli military prison, Tahir Kamenow is set free. The 19-year-old's crime? refusing to serve in her country's army. I think it's a stupid move by the government and the military authority to force people to serve in contradiction to their beliefs. A girl that declares that she has a conscience, she is opposing the occupation and she wants to do an alternative service, is being put in jail. That's just outrageous. Tayyar says her experience as a volunteer with children traumatized by war made her decide she did not want to be part of the Israeli Defense Forces. And in a country whose backbone is the army and where military service is compulsory, Tair has been branded a traitor and a parasite. As was Saha Fadi, who has served a number of prison terms for refusing to serve. It was obvious to me after seeing what the realities of occupation actually looked like that I wouldn't want to be part of the forces that are implementing it. As for Tair, her story quickly spread far and wide thanks to social media. Even the UK Parliament expressed concern over the case. Tahir's case has drawn attention around the world. Her supporters have sent hundreds of letters to Israeli authorities demanding her release. And dozens gathered in front of the military prison where she was being held. She says, I hope my refusal to serve will cause as many young people as possible to consider the real political meaning that goes with their military enrollment. But Israel doesn't treat conscientious objectors lightly. Prime Minister Netanyahu says, Refusing orders should be condemned and using it politically by forcing false accusations is not valid. Some worry that the attention she's getting could encourage others. This is a democratic country and everyone has the right to be critical, but there is a right way of doing things. What she did is illegal and if you try to legitimize it, that's encouraging unlawful behavior. Tayo now has a few days to enjoy with her family before she needs to return here and enlist. Very proud. I think that, you know, for a girl that age, to have that courage is, you know, yeah, I'm very proud of her. Come Sunday, if Tahir decides still not to serve, it will be back behind bars for another month. Paulus Lear RT, Wishon Litsion.